My name's Dylan, and I like sparks. <laughs> All right, stop. Stop the show. Stop it. Stop. That's not the code. Too many sparks in this one. There's fire hazards everywhere. This is not safe. You're fired. Hey. Now that's the right stuff. There's no sparks in the ground. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she says yes. Just a fire blanket. Oh, they protect you from like sparks and fires when you're welding, especially like on scaffolding, like so. Hey, Sam. And it prevents, that really helps uh, prevent sparks from like raining down on the fire watch below. That's all I gotta say. Ready? Go for it. So, that's the fire watch. Your job is to stay alert and to prevent and fight any potential fires. By the hot work before you start any of the hot work, you should cover up any of the combustibles in the area. Uh, once the hot work begins, your job is to solely stand by and watch the worker up above. Um, make sure that you can communicate clearly with them. Uh, also, have a fire extinguisher on hand that's really helpful if there's a fire. Um, if there's any kind of sparks that are falling and there's too many sparks, uh, just yell out, tell them to stop. This is part of your job. <laughs> Alright, 30 minutes after the hot work has been done, then you can leave the work site a little more unless you've been relieved. Um, even if there's nobody working, you should still stand around, like I said, until you're relieved. Okay. So, when being a fire watch, um, there's different there's different areas like a siding or posting a fire watch. Um, when you're posting a fire watch, you want to look at things like if there's any combustibles underneath or there's cracks that slag or weld splatter or sparks might fall through and catch something on fire. Um, also, a sign of fire watch if there are no fire resistant curtains or shields that are blocking the sparks from going into a flammable area. Um, also, if combustible material, anything you have <laughs> in dry grass, um, insulation or any related materials that can catch on fire, are within 35 feet. Um, also, if you're carrying hot work through, a, let's say, a job site that's got insulation or um, flammable coatings on woods or pipes or anything that could catch on fire while you're bringing it past, a sign of fire watch to follow you when you're doing that and make sure that nothing's going to catch on fire because there could be some serious consequences, death, or losing your job. All right, so there are certain things that you need to be aware of as an employee on Firewatch, such as your employer must, must not assign other duties while hot work is in progress. Um, employees must ensure that, or employers must ensure that employees assigned to Firewatch duty have a clear view and immediate access to all areas included in the Firewatch, are able to communicate with workers exposed to hot work, are authorized to stop work if necessary and restore safe conditions within the hot work area and remain in the hot work area for at least 30 minutes after completion of the hot work unless the employer or its representative surveys the exposed area makes determina make a determination that there is no further fire hazard. <laughs> Go. Uh, the employer's responsibilities is are to uh, decide what type of response will be uh, executed if there was a fire. Also, uh, create and maintain a written policy for fire watches, so if something happens, people know what to do. And uh, also to define what kind of evacuations and procedures will happen in case of a fire, where the exits are, what kind of response is going to be, all that kind of stuff.